So guys, if you've seen my previous videos, drone videos, Mavic videos, Inspire videos, even DSLR videos, you know I'm a huge fanboy of ND filters. I currently have owned the Polar Pro ND filters for a little bit. However, you can kind of tell the Mavic isn't really made for ND filters. The gimbal is so small. Every time I put the, the filters on, I feel like I'm gonna break the gimbal off. So these Polar Pros, I've been using them for a little bit now. They, you know, aren't a big deal. You just have to be very careful. Like they're very small. You can see right there. The previous model that came out, <laughs> it was very interesting because they were so big the gimbal couldn't calibrate properly, so when the gimbal would move around, it would hit itself and get locked up. But Polar Pro finally made like an updated version where you can just pop them on and you're good. But the thing is, every single ND filter isn't the same. Like if you know how they work, there's ND16, ND8, stuff like that. On a really bright day, you'd wanna use the ND16, but if it's cloudy, you may wanna use the ND8 or ND4. So changing them is where you risk damaging the gimbal. So a company named Sandmark, they make drone accessories, uh, GoPro accessories, stuff like that. They reached out to me and wanted me to try their ND filters. So this is what they look like right here. So you actually get four with the Sandmark versus the Polar Pro, which you get three. So you get an ND4816 and the polarized filter. With this one, you just get the 816 and polarized. So the ND4 would be better like on morning, night, or a really, really cloudy day. The biggest difference for, from these filters isn't like image quality because for one, the Mavic doesn't have the best 4K camera. So we're not gonna be pixel peeping these. To me, ND filters in the Mavic is all about ease of use. The filter that's easier to put on gets the win in my book. And where the Sandmark filters really shine to me, it's easier to pop them on. So on the inside is just like a type of rubber seal, which this is gonna be really tiny, so I don't even know if you can see it. Like there's a little bit of rubber in there, and that's kind of what catches on the Mavic. Like these, this is the Polar Pro, and there's nothing in there. It's just plastic with like some grooves. And the reason why I like the Sandmark, the rubber just kind of grips it. So when you push it on, you, it takes a little bit more effort to like push it on because you just kind of feel the resistance. But once, it, once it's up there, it's kind of up there. So the Polar Pro, it seems like putting it on is easier. But when you take it off, I feel like it takes a lot more effort. And taking the Polar Pros off is what I think could damage the gimbal if you're not careful. The Sandmarks definitely slide off a lot easier just because the rubber is the only thing really keeping it up there. It's up there good enough to keep it gripped up there, but when you wanna pull it off, it pulls off pretty easily. So guys, once again, these are the two sets of ND filters I was comparing today. Um, so which one should you buy? So the Polar Pros are going to be easier to find. You can even get these at Best Buy. It's $59.99 for the three. You can even get them from Amazon as well. The Sandmarks, it's kind of more of a like specialty website. It's a smaller company, so you're not gonna really get these as easy. I will for sure put a link to the description below to their website to check them out. I really, really like them. These are $69.99, so they're gonna be a little bit more, but you also get another filter. So where this comes in with the ND816 and polarized, this is the 4816 and polarized. So I think the $20 difference is actually worth it because depending on the day, you really would need that ND4. Like I said, dusk, dawn, cloudy day, stuff like that. And another big selling feature of these is just the fact, like I said, I personally found them easier to put on. Now, it may just be a matter of opinion between different people, but comparing these side by side, like right after another, I could really struggle with these and taking these on and off were not a big deal at all. So let me know guys in the comment section below what ND filter you use for your Mavic. Do you think it's worth it? I really do because you need those filters to get that cinematic shot. It allows you to you know, lower your shutter speed to get that really realistic blur effect that you would normally see with your eye. If you don't use the filter, your shutter speed is higher. So 
the shots are just too crisp. Like there's no blur at all. It's too life, like it's beyond lifelike if that it makes any sense. All right guys, that's it. Don't forget to check out the links in the description below to both of the filters. Pick up one for yourself. I'll see you guys later. Bye.